like one of the applications that uh, you'd likely find with say Linux Mint or Mint Linux applications that would come with it and I'll probably admit that this uh, has a installation here it does have a few extra applications that were added on after the initial installation but what uh, this video is going to be about is like some of the, app some of the applications that you can expect to find with uh, Mint Linux that will come with it by default yeah applications that will come with by default have a look and see like there does have accessories like say archive manager calculator font viewer for a maze whatever stick formatter games is this line it doesn't usually come with those games probably have to be added on Say for that it does come with say Firefox, which is probably something you might find with say various Linux installations. And oh yeah, the LibreOffice. Live applications. The LibreOffice suite and shit like that. LibreOffice is something you probably find with all uh, Linux installations. So yeah, like figure or Linux installation gives you full functionality. A full functioning operating system right out of the goddamn box. You know, your standard shit there, like say database, spreadsheet. LibreOffice draws something you might find on say on not on say LibreOffice uh, versions that uh, run on operating systems other than Windows. Like we brought up a story you'll never find on Windows because probably because Windows has its own uh, application. And press for pre presentations, that's equivalent PowerPoint, then say, uh, and yeah, word processor. And there's applications you might find, like say, VLC media players, universal media player, runs on various different operating systems. You can run them on, say, Amazon Fire tablets, Apple system, even Windows. Or the boss is just like iTunes, whatever. Organize your. Say, if Knox is like, say, here, let you be able to watch, say, street, like, say, television streams. Like, say, television, like, say, television that's being streamed online. Oh yeah, an application for your webcam. Say, you got a webcam, whatever. So that's like, say, that plays audios and... Also plays videos too, huh? Sure, file browser. It's like basic text editor. Yeah, figure VLC, I don't... Yeah, figure my Dell don't... Figure... Not the Windows systems I use even have that. It has VLC installed. Because, uh... Other, oper other uh, applications are on there. And those other applications take precedence. Like hey, Hypnotics, you can watch TV broadcasts from, say... A number of countries, but not everything is viewable. But I'm not going to show it, but even then you can say watch it from so many countries here. Say movies. Television channels. For our countries. Like say, I'm made from Australia, like five and but they're all viewable. Some domestic and... Yeah, news report, say news from the UK, some from Korea, even from uh, Japan.
but for but to avoid uh, running a foul copyright laws anywhere in the cut anywhere in the world, nothing's to be shown. Even fucking even stream bright even stream even let you stream shit from say Russia. <laughs> so nowadays people are gonna fucking get nowadays I'll probably piss a lot of people off. Especially all the people who fucking hate Vladimir Putin and want to feel good about hating his ass. Even VLC media player runs on uh, men's legs. I can show you its uh, video playing capabilities. I'm sure it plays audio very well. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing this uh, nice uh, crap sort of product here. And instead of having to show copyright videos or whatever. For the purposes of this demonstrate for the purposes of this video. <laughs> Here's all the information you need there. Video resolution, frame rate. <laughs> I don't know, we'll go right to the, uh, well, how that uh, same video would play in, uh, celluloid. I'm going to say how that same video plays in, in celluloid. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing this, uh, nice, uh, craft sort of product here. And that craft soda product that was even seen seen there has probably has been out of production for who knows how long. But uh, it was good to get it was good to get a review of that in there for uh, craft soft drinks reviewed in uh, the same video. Oh yeah. And with that, you can definitely say it's uh, some of the applications that you can find on uh, that uh, you'd probably get with uh, Linux Mint. Some of the core applications you would get for sure. I well, we can definitely say for this video, you can say, definitely say, you can say it did for this video. I know, you can definitely also say, it's it for now.